Hello my friends, my name is LaserJet and welcome back to this week's Hornby review. This Hornby review is going to be different because it's not just a review but it's also an unboxing video of my favourite tank engine in the world, the 14XX. Or the 14XX, pronounce it how you want, I don't care. The 14XX is without doubt my favourite tank engine in the world. And for my Hornby model, I actually got a really good deal. And you can see uh, the original pricing was 40 quid or 40 pounds, as, as Britons actually say pounds. I say quid. Same thing. But what's amazing that the guy who was selling this uh, 14XX, he bought it for 40 pounds and he sold it to me for 35. So already I have saved 5 pounds. But if you go to the Hornby website, there's a 14XX on sale for 60 pounds. So my question is this. Is a second-hand 14XX better than a brand new one? Let's find out. So the first things first is we need to get our model out of the box. Let's just pull the casing off. Wow, she looks fantastic already. Ah, there we go. A uh, second-hand 14XX that I got for £35. Now, my question is, is it actually worth it? But first things first, let's have a look at the detail on it. And... Actually, it looks really good. All the bits are there. There's not one bit of damage or scratch or anything. In fact, this is actually in really good condition. Obviously, there's a front coupling missing, but I'd, I'm not too worried about that. I've got a lot of spare couplings I can attach, so that's no big deal. But everything's there. I mean, I love the chrome buffers and the chrome funnel. That is um, that is a good fitting. I like that. And I also love like the rivets on the uh, and like you know, the, the joints and all the like bolts and I just like everything on there. It just, it just looks so good. So overall, uh, I don't think there's anything missing. It's all there. It looks fantastic. So let's give it a test run, shall we? Now I have to be honest, when I first uh, put this on the trucks, it was a little bit stiff. So I gave it just a smidge of oil, um, but it is a bit um, jumpy. So it doesn't actually work as well when it's really slow. So we have to give it a little bit of speed to actually make sure it doesn't actually cut out. It does okay in reverse. I mean, sometimes it does cut out when it's when it's going backwards, but that's okay. I mean, I'm I'm just as I say. I mean, I need to run this in and like you know just adjust a few things. I'll um, get my brother James to help me because he's he's really good at motors and small things and like, you know taking things apart and putting cleaning them, putting it back together. Uh, what would I have my brother James for? So let's get our little 14XX underway by giving it a bit of power, and away she goes. Oh, doesn't she look beautiful? She's absolutely fantastic. And when it actually starts running, it does look pretty. It's it's a beautiful tank engine. I mean, you guys can see why the 14XX or the 14XX is my favourite tank engine in the world. And we've got the filming truck as well, the uh, the GoPro Hero 6. And it's uh, Thomas the Tank Engine who's going to be helping us do a little bit of filming. Thank you, Thomas, for helping us do a little bit of filming today. So here's a little bit of information on the 14XX or the 14XX. Uh, it was built in 1932 to 1936 in the GWR Swindon Works. Ooh, nice. I didn't know it uh, was built in Swindon. I would have been there once. It was nice. But the 14XX is only a small little tank engine, so it wasn't designed to do like big express trains. It was actually designed to do like small little branch line passenger work. And actually, the 14XX is actually in one of my uh, favourite uh, train films called Titchfield Thunderbolt. Uh, and the number on the 14XX in the movie Titchfield Thunderbolt was actually 1401, which is amazing because that is actually the date of my birthday. And not only that, but it's also based off Oliver from the Thomas and Friends series. I mean, what could be... I mean, what a coincidence how the number 1401, which is actually the date of my birthday, and it's actually based off Oliver... Or all of us based off the 14XX, that's what I meant to say. And it is my favourite tank engine of them all, so... What a coincidence. But I love the 14XX so much. I mean, it's so cute. I love the design of it. And I just love how cute it looks. I mean, I don't know about, I mean, I don't know about you guys. But I think this is one of the cutest little tank engines I've ever seen. And I'm just so glad that I've bought this for £35. I mean, I don't know what you guys think. If you guys want to buy a brand new one, I'll leave a link in the description below. So you guys can actually buy uh, the br a brand new 14XX uh, from the Hornby website. Um, but I think, that, and to me, this was a really good deal. And I really want to thank the guy for selling this to me on ebay he, he was amazing he was very kind and it runs extremely well so in my mind i think i've done a good deal well i think i've yeah I, I think i've done good i think i've done very well what do you think is better buying a brand new hornby 14xx for 60 pounds or buying a second hand one that works very well for only 35 pounds 
I'll leave you guys to answer in the comment section below and I will read your uh, answer. Uh, so please put your answer in the comment section below and I will read that. Well, that's all I got time for today, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy this review of my Hornby uh, unboxing review of the 14XX. If you want to see more, then put your answers in the comment section below. If you want to see more, what you want me to review next, just put your answer in, this, in the comment section below and I'll be sure to read that as well. And I, for one, have enjoyed making this video. I hope you guys did enjoy watching it. And I will see you guys again next time for another Hornby review. So take care. See you next time, my friends. And have a good day. And I'll see you next week. Goodbye. Thank you.